name is Umaria Nez, coming from Book Chat Teens. I will be reading two poetry pieces from one of my favorite poetry books called Her by Pierre Alex Ginti. The first poetry reading that I want to read to you says, she refused to become a slave to the false opinions they uttered about her and trained her ears to be deaf to the false assumptions and accusations they spread. That's what makes her powerful. Nothing irrelevant could keep her attention. I feel like that piece of the poetry is really, really, really relatable within a teenager's life. When I first entered high school, there was a lot of change from middle school and elementary school that I had to adapt to. And high school is not always, you know, the perfect place where you find yourself. You go through some of the hardest times in your life and you also go through some things that are even just hard to think about or think about that you have to go through. And rumors are one thing in high school, especially with now with social media being present. So I take this key of toning out negativity and not listening to what anybody has to say and the fact that your silence can be so powerful that people will notice that you are just so unbothered to all the negativity and i feel like that is really important for others to understand because hearing rumors about yourself are hurtful and then when people want to start believing them it makes it even worse so taking that and toning out the negativity and just keep moving forward and keeping to yourself is so important. The second poetry reading that I want to read to you is, you were rare before they knew what diamonds were, way before they knew that a beautiful person, that beautiful is a person rather than a word. I feel personally to me, this goes to my self-confidence. Um, a lot of the times my self-confidence and self-esteem are really, really low. And with social media, again, I start, I tend to imagine myself as somebody else simply because of how they look or the clothes they wear that I don't have. And sometimes it gets to me because I just feel like, yes, it's one thing for somebody to say like, oh, you're so pretty, oh, you're so beautiful. And it's another thing to fully understand it yourself. So I feel like this is just a reminder that you are a rare person. There is no one else like you. There never will be. And it's important important that you embrace that and that you take in the confidence because you only live once. And to learn how to be comfortable in your own body and to accept yourself, I believe is a beautiful thing. And I applaud anybody who is able to do that. And I also applaud, uh, applaud those who are trying to because I want them and myself to know that you are worthy and capable of so many more things than what you may think. So I always keep those two readings in mind and I hope that maybe it inspired you to do the same. So thank you. <laughs>